We start our review of the Asian session with the new home sales data in the United States for the previous months. It has been reported that sales of new houses in the United States sank in May. We can see that the region fell to its lowest level in more than a year in May. A plunge followed a spike in home prices due to rising material costs whining on buyers' affordability. This is likely to become a warning signal for market participants. At the same time, we hope that the results will not affect the greenback and other currencies seriously. Let's now take a closer look at the financial instruments of the Asian trading session. The US dollar index was stable after the release of the new home sales report in the United States. Yesterday, USDX dropped to 91.50. Today, however, the index recovered after a half of a new statistics in the United States. It's now trading at 91.80. The quote is likely to remain uh, flat throughout the day. Then the market will respond to the news. In case pessimistic forecasts come true, the US dollar index is expected to go down below 91 and 40. Meanwhile, the greenback strengthened by 30 pips against the Japanese yen, 210 and 98 on Wednesday. So far, we can see that a divergence has occurred. Most likely, the price will reverse downward. Consolidation below 110 and 50 will confirm the reversal. A plunge in stocks is needed so that the yen can strengthen. In fact, such a fall is possible. Yesterday, the S&P 500 lost 0.11% and the Dow Jones was down by 0.21%. The situation is tense, so it's worth taking a wait and see stance for a while. At the same time, the Australian dollar reached 0.7570 yesterday. The market is expected to move in a bearish trend. However, if the quote breaks yesterday's high, the price may rise to 0.7647. Alternatively, if the price returns below 0.7552, the bearish trend will resume. And this is the more possible scenario at the moment. Summing up, a series of important macroeconomic data will come out in the United States today. The results may somewhat affect financial markets. Thus, the final GDP growth rate and the jobless claims statistics will be published in the United States. If the data falls short of market expectations, the greenback will incur losses in the short term. Technical and fundamental analysis of the market confirm this assumption. Subscribe to our channel and get notified about our new videos.